hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for intune tutorial and today we are going to learn about how you can create a app registration for intune to access the data intune data with the powershell so let's get it started so here is the first is uh, first lie to understand what is the app uh, what is the app registration so Microsoft Intune used Microsoft Graph API to access the Intune data. So when we are creating any app registration for Intune that will use the Microsoft Graph API. Now the app, uh, this app registration is required to create under the AD with the specific roles and the permission. Actually you need to create this Intune app registration under the Azure AD. Now, so you can use the C has or the PowerShell language to access the Intune data. These are the programming language which is used for this automation. So this uh, app registration is mainly used for this automation. If you need any auto uh, automation, like you need to get the report or any status, app deployment status or any type of status required uh, from this Intune and you want to trigger uh, email on this um, on you want to trigger a email with the data so you can use the app registration now so it will provide you a userless authentication to access the intune data so if you are using the app registration you do not require a, any username and the password input in that automation so uh, you will be connecting with the intune without any username and the password so now what are the benefits we have so app registration will help you to access the Intune data without any username and the password. So that is the main benefit. If you schedule any report, so you do not uh, require to enter the username and the password. It's a user -like authentication. You can generate uh, the report or pull any type of data by using the Graph API and inside the Graph API, your app registration will be configured. So you can get a um, Android device count or the list device compliance app details and the other reports so whatever type of data you required from your Intune you can pull with your app registration Intune app registration or if you want to take any action take action on the device app and the others I write it in a very short so you can take any of the actions by using your the app registration so you can sync the multiple devices you can remove delete or add devices or you can uh, create a group you can add the devices inside the group and can perform the action on the app configuration compliance or they are the the many tasks so whatever task you are performing manually in the UI console the same you can trigger with the um, your PowerShell code and to make it work you need a in uh, this Intune app registration so can can use on scheduled based automations or the task so once you're done with the, your automations you can schedule in the task because it will be a userless authentication you do not require to enter the password now here is a Intune uh, application permission Intune app permissions what are the permissions you required so here is the list like perform uh, user and uh, impacting the remote action on the Intune devices so these are the um, uh, these are from the graph API which permission should allowed uh, to access your the Intune data with the app registration so these things we will be configuring inside the app registration so now let's move it to the lab and let's see how it's going to work so now here I have logged into the Intune, uh, the Azure AD portal and uh, you need to scroll down to create the app registration. So here is the app registration. And now here you see in it what are the app registration I have here. So it's a own application. It's on my name. And now uh, if you would like to create already I have created a app registration here so let's review it later but how you can create it now click on the new registration and you can name it here so it's the Intune app Intune apps underscore I'm putting like a testing and this is for the organization directly on only for the Intune uh, the end user supports is my the 
the tenant name for the single tenant or you can for the multi talent if you want for the multi talent you can just select it for the multi talent and now just click here uh, nothing to do here just click on the register now so once you click here it will create a app registration for you and you need a few modification inside it so now we are good with this you go to the application id you go to the object id you go to the tenant id so in our automation we need a few more things like the uh, the certificate and the secret and the api api permission so let's move it to the api permission and here you see in it's under the microsoft graph it's a read only access it's provided by default so now click on the add permissions and you can go to the microsoft graph and this is the application permission and under here you have to check the seat what i shows you the device uh, device management managed device so let's go to here it will be under device device management managed device and this is the option for your uh, uh, to assign the app or to activate the app so here is clearly mentioned the device management device managed privileged op operations and uh, it's for like your um, for all and uh, this is for read and all and this is for write if you are giving this permission so you can take any of the actions on the devices okay so here is uh, let me select this uh, read and write and what uh, what are the rest of the permissions we needed let me open the microsoft document and let's follow this so that will be easy so here is like a device management for this device operations that is the privileged the device management read uh, read and write all are back and all these permissions should be selected here so let's go the one by one and uh, i can show you the what is the meaning of it so device management apps dot read dot all so let's go the device management apps device management apps under this you can select this all if you need it the only the read or if you want to write it something you can just uh, select the read write dot all and now the next option is uh, the device management apps and uh, then the device management configuration so device management configuration let's go for the read all and uh, then device configuration and the device management device managed privileged operations so it will give you the option to retire wipe or restart recover the password lock the device so you can do the perform all these actions remotely but if you are under the read only so you can just uh, manage the device or device category detected the app remote action and the malware information but if you have the all privileged operations then you will get the all these um, all these features so let's see under the device management and the managed device so it's here and what we can select let's go for the all operations so i can perform all these and the read also now let's see what is the next next is for the managed devices that's fine and uh, device management are back device management are back so let's go for the all read device management device management service config so it's a device management service config let's select the read on and then it's a that's all and few more things is which i would like recommend you where the microsoft has not mentioned let's select the group as well so groups then you can get at the group details so you can create a group or you can read the group or you can modify the group inside and then you can if you need the group members details you can select this so by using this you can uh, you have the control on the groups as well to creating and adding the device inside the group or the other actions so let's select all these permissions and uh, click on the add permissions 
and also sorry I have forgot the one more thing under the devices also we need some more permissions so under let's go for the devices yeah it's here so device command with the user device read read the user devices and read all these devices because if we are getting the device detail we should require all these things so here you see it's so all these things are available now and but it's not ready it's saying they're not granted for the end user so let's go and uh, uh, that's grant for all these permissions so here is the option for the consent just click here and click OK so all these permissions will be granted in few of the organization they are not giving permission for all to grant these access so they are controlling with them then in that case you can create this app registration give it to them the information and ask them to uh, grant this permission for your the app registration so now we are almost good here and uh, what else we can do uh, if you want to assign any of the owner for this app you can go here and can assign the owner like from your any team members or anyone like I have the admin already I log in with Harvan Singh let me add so now the owner will be Harvan Singh and uh, the admin and if you would like to assign the any roles and administrator you can go here but this is not a mandatory to uh, assign any roles and the administrator so main point is now certificate and the secrets you just go here and here you need to create a secret code for your interview so now here is the description that is a intune apps underscore test and you can assign the range how much you want uh, that is what 24 month 18 month 16 month or uh, that by default is a six month so let's go for the 12 month at this and here you have the value so just copy this value or else if you refresh your console you will lost the value this is your secret code which you will be using inside your the PowerShell so let me show you how it will go on so if you refresh the console this value will go on and you cannot able to recover again this will so only the one time when you are creating the your secret code so now you seen it lost and you cannot recover this if you lost this then you can create a one more secret code here so this is again it's highlighted so you can create a new secret code if you forgot it but if you lost it you cannot recover the secret secret code again so once you create it just copy and paste it so now we are all good here and uh, authentication is no more changes is required it's already set up to, with the graph api everything looks is okay with the multi-talented branding if you want to set something you can set it here but it's not a mandatory and let's go with the overview so here you can see in it's a display name is a Intune app testing the uh, application and the object ID is here and the tenant ID so in your the PowerShell code you can use all these things but mainly what I am using that is a app client ID and your the tenant ID and third is the secret code which was generated just now so all these three things you can use it uh, to automate your script or pull the data from the Intune and now here is you can see in the certificate is zero and the secret code is already assigned and all these op options no need to get confused these are not a mandatory to schedule it that will automatically create in the backend and you can use three options uh, the client ID tenant ID and the secret code to access your that data that is more than enough so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video if you have any questions please comment me on the YouTube I will sure answer your questions thank you guys see you soon in my next video